Здравствуйте! In this video, we will review the conjugation patterns of Russian verbs. As you probably remember, almost all Russian verbs are classified into two groups called first conjugation and second conjugation. By conjugating a verb, we mean changing its ending based on person and number. When we conjugate imperfective verbs, we form the present tense. When we conjugate perfective verbs, we form the future tense, since perfective verbs are not used in the present. And that is why the stem we use to conjugate a verb is often called the present future stem. First conjugation verbs are often known as ye type because of the letter ye in four of its endings. Second conjugation verbs are called e type because of the letter e in the same endings. The verb работать is a first conjugation verb. Я работаю, ты работаешь, он работает, мы работаем, вы работаете, они работают. The verb говорить is a second conjugation verb. Я говорю, ты говоришь, он говорит, мы говорим, вы говорите, они говорят. Now, unfortunately, you can't always predict from the infinitive whether the verb belongs to the first or second conjugation. For this reason, uh, you will need to memorize three forms for every verb that you learn. Uh, the infinitive, the ya form, and the ni form. The infinitive is, of course, the dictionary form of the verb, and you will also use it to form the past tense. The ani form will give you important information about the conjugation of the verb. If the ending is ut or yut, it belongs to the first conjugation. If the ending is at or yat, it's a second conjugation verb. Finally, the ya and the ni forms combined uh, will give you important information about the stress pattern of the verb. There are three stress pattern, uh, patterns in the present future forms. Verbs can be stem stressed, like the verb работать. They can be end stressed, like the verb жить or they can have a shifting stress, like the verb писать, where the stress will be on the ending in the ya form, and then it will shift to the stem in the rest of the forms. Now, we'll take a closer look at first conjugation verbs uh, in the next several videos, but before we do that, uh, I would like to answer some questions you may have about the endings of first conjugation verbs. Uh, for example, one common question is, why do some verbs, like знать, have the letter U in the ya and ani forms, and other verbs like жить have the letter U in the same forms. Uh, the answer is simple. If the stem ends in a vowel, the ending is U. Я слушаю, они слушают. Я читаю, они читают. If the stem ends in a consonant, the ending is U. Я иду, они идут. Я пишу, они пишут. Another common question is, why do some first conjugation verbs have the letter ye in the endings, like работать, and others, like жить, have the letter yo instead? Uh, to answer this question, you will need to look at the stress. Uh, if the ending is unstressed, uh, it will be spelled with a ye. If a first conjugation ending is stressed, it will be spelled with a yo. Now, as you learn more Russian verbs, uh, you will see that there is a limited number of subtypes or patterns within each conjugation. And recognizing these types, these patterns, uh, will make conjugating a verb uh, much easier for you. So over the next several videos, we will look at some of these patterns, and we will start with my favorite, the работать type. До свидания!